what are the top 10 things to do in Oakville, Ontario, as regards if you're watching this in the summertime, the winter time, or somewhere in between, there's gonna be lots for you and your family to do while in Oakville. And the first activity I'd recommend you guys do is explore the downtown Oakville has to offer you, as this is a quaint but lively downtown area, and it is a perfect way to spend an afternoon in a relaxed, friendly environment, as not only can you stop by a variety of different boutique high-end luxury shops but as well as you'll find some mom and pop shops along this street here then of course among all these different boutiques and shops you're gonna find a variety of different restaurants and cafes to go enjoy now my personal favorite cafes to go grab a sweet treat and enjoy a good book would be either the black forest pastry shop the tribeca coffee company and also enjoy some of the wallflower donuts here or the sugar sweet. So if you're new here, my name is Matthew, I'm a local realtor, and this is my channel where I share everything about what it's like living in Oakville and the surrounding cities. So if you're interested in learning more about those areas, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, let's move on to the second thing you can do while in Oakville, and it's perfect for any movie lovers, and that is to visit the Five Drive-In Movie Theater. As here, you're going to find three outdoor screens to catch both those newest movies that have just been release as well as replays from some classic ones. Now often here they have both an earlier and later show times making it a perfect spot to have a fun movie night with the kids or possibly a great day activity. And then of course when you're going to the movies you can't forget about the snacks and thankfully here they have a snack bar that delivers directly to your car. So then another thing you and your family can enjoy is all the amazing hiking trails Oakville has to offer you because of its unique geography as throughout Oakville you're gonna find a number of different ravines leading down all the way to a river and on these ravines here you're gonna find a wide variety of different trails to go and explore now the two most notable parks for this would be Lions Valley Park which is located in North Oakville on the West Oak Trails neighborhood but you also have Bronte Provincial Park which is the largest park around and it is located in between Oakville and Burlington. Then if you're looking for an easier park to walk and enjoy some stunning views of Lake Ontario and beautiful curated gardens, then you should go check out Garlock Gardens. And this is a small park in the Morrison neighborhood, which offers a stunning window into Lake Ontario amongst some stunning flower beds. Then another park you can go check out, which is actually located in the downtown area. So if you're exploring the downtown area from the first point, this is a great park to check out. And that is Tannery Park and Lakeside Park that offer a variety of different walking paths, as well as Muskoka chairs for you to relax on. Then another thing I know so many Oakville residents love to capitalize when living in Oakville is the amazing community centers it offers its community. As regardless if it's in the summertime, if it's in the wintertime, there's something to do in these areas. As if it's in the summertime, you're gonna find a variety of different pools, both indoor and outdoor, to swim. In total, there's over 20 plus options to choose from with a wide variety of different playgrounds also having splash pads equipped. Then in the winter time, you'll find a total of 15 outdoor rinks to choose from and countless number of indoor rinks to skate on year around. Now, if you're interested in getting a complete list of the pools and ice rinks, check out the link down in the description. But regardless of the year, you can always visit the Queen Elizabeth Park and Community Center, which not only offers a variety of different sports fields and courts, but inside you'll find over 50 plus rooms offering a bunch of unique activities from a large rock climbing wall to many dance studios to lots of drop in sports in the double gym gymnasiums as well as some more artistic classes like a pottery class, a wood shop room, and so much more. Then throughout the year in Oakville, you're also going to find a variety of different seasonal events to choose from. Now, some of the most notable events you need to check out would first be the Songs of Summer Festival, which was previously known as the Downtown Jazz Festival. This is a two-day music festival that has morphed into a wider range of music taking place 
in August and has been going on for over 20 plus years, giving it a perfect opportunity to go discover some local artists, enjoy some live music outside, and just stroll the streets of the downtown core. So now if you're looking for another event, especially if you're new to Canada, I'd highly recommend going to check out the Maple Syrup Festival that happens every time in March and is perhaps one of the most Canadian festivals I've heard of where you can go grab some delicious maple syrup treats that were made in snow, but you'll also get to learn the complete process that goes in to making maple syrup. So there are so many more events for you and your family to capitalize on when living in Oldfield that I can't list them all here. So if you're interested in an updated calendar based on what the next upcoming events are, check out the link down in the description. But one thing you can for sure do in the summer and spring months is go on golf in Oakville as Oakville has some amazing golf courses for you to enjoy. Now particularly the most notable one would be Glen Abbey Golf Course which is a PGA golf course designed by the legend himself Jack Nicholas. Now this course is the one that typically hosts the RBC Canadian Open. So you can go watch the pros play here Saturday and Sunday in your own neighborhood backyard. And then on Thursday, you can book a tee time to go tee off to see how you'll fare on the same course. Now here is definitely a steep green fee unless you have a club link membership. So a few other courses I personally enjoy when in Oakville in the spring and summer months is Deerfield Golf Club, as well as Oakville Executive and Rattlesnake Point are some great golf courses to enjoy in the summertime. So then if you're looking to get your golf fix in the wintertime, you can also find a variety of different golf simulators located throughout Oakville. But if you're in Oakville and enjoyed exploring the downtown, another area I'd recommend you go explore is Bronte Village. As Bronte Village was established in 1834, making it one of the oldest waterfront communities offering another scenic downtown area to explore in Oakville and it's popular for all the amazing local restaurants and waterfront parks it has to offer you as here you'll find Bronte Harbor as well as Bronte Beach to enjoy a stroll amongst the boats or in the relaxing sand of the Bronte Beach then when you get hungry, you can stroll through the streets here and find some great food either at the fire hall where you can get some amazing wings, the cove bar for some great seafood or the plank restaurant bar for some amazing pizza. So while you're exploring Bronte Harbor and amongst all the boats, you might get inspiration to do our next activity, which is to go boating as Oakville is a perfect spot to either dock your boat, rent one out so you can relax on a yacht on Lake Ontario or possibly go fishing or also you can learn how to sail here then if you're looking for more of a work gift you can also look to kayak or canoe on one of the many streams that Oakville has to offer you at the bottom of those ravines that you were hiking earlier so then if you're looking to have a bit more adult friend catch up with some old friends or possibly a great date idea you need to check out Oakville's local brewery Cameron's Brewing Company and this is a perfect way to end your Oakville visit enjoy an ice cold beer from this award winning family run brewery either in the tap room or also on their patio and just listen to some live music or you can take it a step further and also get a guided tour of their brewery then if you're looking for other things that you can do as adults or also with the family one of my favorites in Oakville is Dave and Buster's and this is a family friendly chain offering both a sports bar arcade style setting offering you that traditional bar food and here you're gonna find a wide variety of both those traditional arcade games as well as some new reimagined ones here that you can compete with your friends and family and if you're interested in learning what more parks you can explore while in Oakville. The next video I'd recommend you go check out is my video going over the top 10 parks in Oakville. So you can find that video right here. Otherwise, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and I look forward to seeing you off in the next video.